Morning guys, so something very strange has happened. I've just got to the yard to come and sort Louis out and there seems to be a strange girl touching my pony. Does anybody know who she is? Welcome to your second instalment of Tack Up and Talk. So, as I had to ride Aria last time, today I challenged Izzy to ride Louie. It's true. And then inspired by Graham, Tommy's schoolmaster that he sent Lovely, to. lovely Graham, who lovely I sent cookies Graham, to. Who we love. <laughs> um, we're going to make our own horse cookies to give to our own horses and answer some questions. So, catch you later. <laughs> I've just arrived at Tommy's and look who's driving again. Not <laughs> my, me. My mum um, actually said it was nice to pull up on the drive and not be the dirtiest car on there. So. She did. And then I said, yeah, it is a bit dirty, isn't it? She went, no, it's rotten. <laughs> so we're just off to ride. Well, I'm off. To, well, we're off, but I'm riding <laughs> Louis. There's a cat. Yeah, that's Hugo. Go, it went, it went yeah, missing. He, no, I know. It went missing for four days and it was in the neighbour's car. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Hugo, stay there. He's thinking about pulling out. He's not. He knows, he knows. He just walks in the road all the time. So having spent a week with him, um, seeing me ride him, how are you feeling about riding Louis? Um, I'm, I'm a bit apprehensive because I really want to do him justice like you do. Because <laughs> you always like, he's just so special to you. And I want to make sure that, you know, I don't give him a hard time because He's just amazing. I want to make sure I get the best out of him without trying too hard. Yeah, he he um he'll test you. You'll have to ride, but yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> I am incredibly low on confidence jumping at the moment, so I'm just going to put that out there now, so that um when I'm a wimp, you don't have time. You don't have time for nerves when you're galloping at 400 mile an hour, really. Right. Oh, oh hello, that's my air freshener. Hello, tree. <laughs> um, yeah, that's as long as he jumps the jump. Yeah, 100%. A minute away. Yeah. Um, so we'll catch up with you in a bit. Yeah, we'll catch up with you in a bit, guys. Peace out. Oh, what was that? Peace out. <laughs> wow. Look how good her grooming is. That's actually already so good. <laughs> <laughs> like, if this was my horse, I wouldn't even bother riding me so clean. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> So this little random girl is really taking the mick now. She's even <laughs> tacked up and going for a ride. Oh, <laughs> this little randomer. Good boy. Get yourself to the block. <laughs> wow. He's so well groomed. Look at him. Yes, of course. He's like a statue. <laughs> I need to train my horses to be better to get on because I will be off by now. And look how <laughs> <laughs> they look good. <laughs> <laughs> I have to walk, go around like this. <laughs> oh my toe. Oh, Louis, you're so I'm really sorry, Louis. <laughs> and we're off. So, the thing about Louis is I know every button on him because obviously I broke him in myself. So, when I put anyone else on him, they get on thinking he's going to be one way and he just isn't. So, let's see how Izzy gets on. <laughs> having to use her legs. <laughs> She's probably appropriately sized for him though. I think that was a trot transition. <laughs> the correct diagonal would help. <laughs> Tommy Hutton over here. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,
Hello, Izzy. How do you feel? So, the rumours are true. <laughs> He is literally the best horse in the world. <laughs> They're like their owners. <laughs> um, yeah, a little, we're very wary of me to start with and a little bit like tricky. You had to, he's really responsive, um, but you have to support him a lot. Feels like he's going to be going forward, um, but he does play on that a little bit. So he, Tommy does a very good job <laughs> making it look easy, but he is just incredible. And then to jump, that's the most confident I've felt on horse for a long time. Like he loves it. He's so up for it. Not easy. <laughs> um, but when you've got a horse that's so willing, it just makes it it makes it so fun. And he was he was so cool. Look, and he, he Tommy has done a really good job. The, the fact that you produced him from scratch. Sorry, we're just looking at Louis eyeing it up. Do you want to go again? <laughs> you have done a really good job with him because he's so well balanced Thank and straight you. that. Yeah, the foundations are fantastic and I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Z. So <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> That's a joke, I hope. Louis or Aria? Louis, because <laughs> he's easier. But I, Aria's got her, her talent there yeah. somewhere. He's just good fun, isn't he? Good yeah. boy, Lou. And this is the problem as well, I forget he's six. Yeah, this is, you get on him and you feel like he's really established and then you're like, you start pressing other buttons and he's like, whoa, yeah. I'm only baby. Yeah. Oh, you've done a fab job. Oh my God, I did it. <laughs> I was not, I just showed off to the camera. <laughs> My children, I'm 28 years old. I'm a full grown man. <laughs> He's never bucked in his life. <laughs> He's just the best, isn't he? <laughs> I love you. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. The fifth, maybe? Right, you can have five. Can god. Have five? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. One. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Ready Neddy Cook. <laughs> that is so good. Are we going to use that for our cooking? Yeah, exactly. That's so good. Tommy, you're a genius. First of all, he just has this. What's that? Well, it's like a chaff complete feed. So really, I should only feed him that. But you know what I'm like? I love to feed. When well, you say chaff, do you mean chaff? No, I mean chaff. That's how we say it here. I've never heard of anyone call it chaff. It makes me cringe when you said it. Let us know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> is it chaff or is it chaff? <laughs> and then just some conditioning cubes. Oh. You do make that. Okay. Who's Steve Babs? Uh, this man's called Steve. Oh my god, that. Um, this man's called Steve and he has a little horse called Babs. Cool. It would never be boring. Baby. So, have you got the uh, recipe there? Preheat the oven. That no, is done. Oh. <laughs> Are you familiar with what you need? Yeah. Okay. So for these ultimate horse cookies, we need one carrot, one apple, half a cup of honey, two cups of oats, <laughs> half a cup of flour, we don't have that on here just yet. Um, vegetable oil and water. 
just in the tub. Okay. So first you need to preheat the oven at 160, which is done. And then you need to grate your carrot and finely chop your apple. Okay, so I'm gonna grate this guy. Should I do the apple? Yeah. First question. Uh, we can both have an opinion on this. Okay. Is Pammy a savage in real life as she appears on All Star Academy? Okay. Personally, <laughs> I think she's great. I got a bit um, obsessed with her. You did. You're... Slightly unhealthy relationship yeah. we have. You're like borderline in love with Pammy. The answer to that is no. No, I she's just, not. She wasn't a savage in real life. I think like it is dramatised a bit. And I think they tell her to be like that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you wish you had done differently at town? Good question. Um, Ooh, I was quite happy with my <laughs> I wish I'd slept more. Oh, I wish Definitely. I'd actually, I wish the opposite of that. I wish I'd actually yeah, you slept stayed up and <laughs> had a few more drinks. Um, but I don't know, I think you can always, you're always going to look back at it and think you did. Yeah, you can do better. Differently and better. And like, I wish I shortened my reins up a bit, to be quite honest with you. And rode about the extra. <laughs> no, because <laughs> yeah, someone loves yeah, my you, extra. You did. Watch episode four to find out. <laughs> <laughs> did you like your Lemur colours? Yeah, I actually did really like mine. Did you have? Oh I yeah, you had a nice one. Yeah. There's a bit of a story behind this. <laughs> because we all got asked to choose three <laughs> options. And very few of us got any of those options. Yeah. What did you ask? I did say um, either navy or any kind of blue is my first, and I guess it is kind of blue, isn't it? Oh, I asked for mustard or olive green, and ended up being sent grey, which I then sent back. Tommy did not want to wear grey. No, I didn't want to wear grey. And that's when I ended up with the mink, yeah. which, which you it, was, it was okay, yeah. Uh, I just grated my carrot. I'm still chopping oh my it. God. <laughs> It says finely chop. I'm not... That's going to take you about a year. Should I do another carrot? Yeah. But this is one of those. What feed do you feed? So I feed Aria um, Equifeast, which is like a calming feed. And it's a balancer and you get like a powder with it. And it's supposed to feed five out of the seven days. So that it can go into her bloodstream. There's a lot of like weird science behind, science behind it, it, which I was really skeptical to start with. But she is now so oh. laid back she can fall over. So I'm scared to take her off it in case it is what's keeping her calm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I mean it's worked, so we'll see. That's good. I'm going to see you chaff and nuts. Chaff. To chat, you weirdo. Um, I used to spend so much money on food for Louis and actually realised that he didn't need any of it. No. So he gets a, we would see from the feeding I did earlier, he just gets like a complete feed, chaff yeah. thing, and um, conditioning cubes. Every time I've taken him off the conditioning cubes, he actually really has just dropped, so yeah. that's now my favourite feed in my world. They say that you're, as long as they get the right um, forage. So yeah. They don't even really need hard beef. So. Do you think I need to do a whole apple? If it's going to take you that long, then no. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, yeah, they didn't like say, no, you need to go now, did they? Yeah. They, they were good at production, but they, um, they, they like to make it look like yeah. you've gone home. But luckily, we all got to hang out all week, didn't we? So that was nice. Very nice. As nice as it could be. Oh, are you doing half yours in there and half in there? Yeah. Right. So now we're going to put the apple and the carrot into our mixing bowls. Are we doing a bowl each? Yes. Well. Yeah, because I'm not giving my horse your biscuits. Oh, right. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Mix together all of the ingredients. Okay, cool. Where do so, you have the food bin? We don't have food bin. Just put it back in the um, pot. Oh, two cups of oats each. Wow. That's <laughs> going to set my horse to light. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give us all of that calming stuff. <laughs> don't forget to clear up as you go along. Two cups of oats. That's what George always tells me. Two cups each. Two yeah. cups each. Wow. Okay. Do you have any plans of getting any more horses? You? I absolutely do not. I don't think I'd ever find a horse that I like as much no. as I like him. So there's just no point. After meeting me. Louis today, like he is the best. He is like gold, a gold dust. How you found him like that and then he turned out to be a horse. Um me? I <laughs> Oh yeah, what about you? I forgot you were <laughs> Um, well, I don't, so because I've got Chuck and he's retired, I'm not going to keep a horse for the rest of their life again. So he's the only horse I'm going to have forever and ever and ever. So eventually I will probably sell Aria and get another horse one day, but who knows when. I, I'd quite like to see her get to a good level before that happens, but we never know. Here's your honey, honey. Thank you. Is that half a cup? That's so then, so we've got two cups of oats. And half a cup of honey. Yeah. All so molasses. All molasses. <laughs> so pour the honey in with all the ingredients. Vegetable. A tablespoon of. Do you like honey? Oh. How can you not like honey? It's literally sugar. I know. I don't know if I do like it actually. Oh, it's so like bitter. Are you bitter? No. You're nuts. Not for me. Okay. I love oil. <laughs> How much oil are you putting in? You need to tell the table, people. Sorry, it's a tablespoon. I, I thought that they were just watching you seductively <laughs> Nigel and Lawson and stuff suck your honey spoon. <laughs> That's what I thought was happening here. Um, no, because you're going to make these guys and you're going to tag us in your cookies yeah. when you made them. So we've got one tablespoon of vegetable oil or coconut oil. <laughs> this is actually a tablespoon. So, this so is I'm just oil. still finishing. <laughs> I'm tripping over the honey. <laughs> so we're just going to put the in there and then the we've got a bit of oil and some water optional one tablespoon of water one tablespoon of water and then yeah. we're gonna have a race so we need to also get some flour i think <laughs> half, a cup, half a cup of flour oh. everything's so sticky and honey and dribbly now izzy <laughs> half a cup thank you you're welcome and question how much do you think Louis is worth? You can answer. I think Louis is priceless. Oh, yeah, true. Um, but if you really want to, I think you could get like at least 15 pounds with him. Hey. Do you think? BRB just kind of right, right ahead of her. Don't you think though? Yeah, like he's, yeah he's, he's honest, isn't he, as well? He's amazing. Yeah, I mean, he's him. so well behaved. Like, just, you, you would get someone to pay that because. He stands at the block. He stands at the mountain block. <laughs> no, because um, safety of their kids. Yeah, he's cool. so well behaved and he's so just lovely. He's just lovely. I'd, I'd pay 15 for him. Well, you're not going to because he's not for sale. <laughs> and I'd want that to say someone responsible anyway. Who wouldn't then say, I'm not going to keep a horse for the rest of its life. But I'll buy Louis. Come on, sell him. <laughs> Um, this one's for both of us. Okay. When are you coming to Cornwall and who's riding Banks of Thirst? Shotgun! <laughs> I don't think, because you know, the other day Actually, she did that thing on her story <laughs> saying which all star horse would you like to ride? Yeah, I know that was you. <laughs> we'll both do it together at the same time. Yeah. It's quite you a big can one. sit behind the saddle. I'll yeah. sit behind You can on do some neck. new tricks that you learned today, Louis. Right, we'll mix that all together. I think that's done. I they don't look the same type of consistency though, do they? They do. Let's feel yours. Eat some. 
Did you? Was that nice? Is it? Although yours is like sticking together quite a lot. Yeah, well that's the idea, isn't it? Do I need more? What? Mine's quite moist. You probably put loads of honey and dribble in though. <laughs> We're having a dilemma of consistencies, but it should squeeze. Roll it into balls. It should be able to put it put it into a ball. Or a how do I pick this up in here? That is icky. I quite like that ball. But we're going to put it into... <laughs> I'm going to go off course and I'm going to make mine into the shape of little snowmen. Okay, well I want to do Christmas snowmen. Should we do balls as well? Maybe just be safe. Yeah. <laughs> do a couple of balls. Ball balls. Can you do a horse swap? Oh, we well, if you watch the vlog. <laughs> you watch our vlog, you'll see us do our vlog. Yeah, I rode Ari yeah. on the last one. Yeah, watch our first vlog, guys. Describe your dream horse, discipline, colour, age, sex, height, and breed. Show jumper. Right. Sex, gelding. That's why I don't get an opinion, though. I just like showing, I just keep going back to showing. I'm like a big showing horse. Honk, honk, horse. Is that what it's called? Honk, 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 the gelligans. What's it called? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Come call the... yeah, yeah, I'd love to wear one of those big dresses. Same. Colour. Chestnut. I like a nice grey, but like... Oh! That stays grey. Oh, no, yeah. no, not a white grey. I'd like, <laughs> like a dark... What do you call it? Iron, iron grey. Yeah, yeah, but I'd like it to stay there. Like, no, not that. So I'd like... So or, it, basically, it's horses get older, they get lighter. Or I do like a coloured. Do you? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there's going to be a question coming up about all-star horses and... Mm. Mm. Okay, and then what was the Set other Set gelding. Gelding. I've decided geldings recently because I do really love a good mare, but oh God, it's been hard work. And I just think Chuck was just the most lovely, and Louis so lovely, and I just think I just like geldings. Height. Seventeen hands. Yeah, I'd like to. Say, I actually just don't like big horses, but I think I really like for showy, and I'd like to have yeah. just like a massive hunter type. You know, I'm also gonna say I wouldn't. I would like a big hunter type, but I'd also love um. Big traditional. Breed, warm blood. Oh, boring. Yeah, I know. So, what did you say, like a baggy warm blood? No, chestnut, chestnut warm 70 pound warm blood. Is so there any other literally question? the horse you've got. So, Chuck. <laughs> no, honestly, guys, I am obsessed with Chuck. But he is cool. Don't I've not seen him in person. No, I've seen he's lots the of best. paraphernalia. He is the best thing that came into my life. Not George, sure Oscar, or, or me. Did you know each other before? All stars. No. Even when I watched her audition, I thought she was going to get my nerves a little bit. <sighs> and I was like, okay. I'm a bee. And I was like, I can't like her. <laughs> I think it was the modelling for me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I'm beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't wait to show you guys what these Christmas trees because they all have been sick. Could uh, get any horse from the All Star Academy this year, who would it be? So I'm assuming that is like if we were to buy one. Do you know who I'm going to say, actually? Louis? Well, I'm not going to say no because you're not allowed to say Roxy either because that would be boring. I wasn't going to say I know you weren't. <laughs> I would actually go for Oxo. Oh. Watching him jump in Natasha's videos is just, he just looks so much fun. He looks amazing and so scopy. Um, I would like to have a, have a go. Him. Yeah. You? I'm going to stick with my answer for the all-star thing and Matty. Oh, Mari! Yeah, you, Mari. Oh. would be her. She's coloured, she's just easy, like... Yeah. I could put one of my friends that doesn't ride on her. You know, like, sometimes you have, like, tall or big friends. Oh, you know, right, like, yeah. And they'll go, can I ride your horse? But well, they can't ride Louis. Oh, yeah, So it'd true. be nice, like, just to be able to say, yeah, of course you can. So you want to pick Matty because you want your friends to ride? Well, she's just, like, easy and nice looking, isn't she? Yeah, I like, I like her, like, Mari. She's nice, yeah, nice. Nice to look at. So these are our cookies. These are my beautiful snowmen and little balls. <laughs> these are my Christmas trees and my ball balls. And that little ball ball is for uh, Tommy, little the, little, tree. the little black Shetland. For this Christmas tree. <laughs> See? They look all Right, they're going in. She's so. Oh my god. Oh, you might want to put yours out. I picked up the tray instead. Oh no. <laughs> Are you okay, Tommy? Yeah, I'll be alright. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Happy bread. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 
Potter. How can you get hurt doing a children's vlog? <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. No, so but you must run under the car. Why must I? I'm not on the hot. It's hot, brilliant. Here, no, seriously. But Izzy, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. No, just run it for just one minute. I'm better for it, but we'll feel it. Right, is that better? Yeah. Yeah, you. That feels lovely. Right, is that? Thanks. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. So, they are now in there for how long? Um, so they are in the oven for... 28 to 32 wow, years. Wow, that's quite a long time. Mm. Can you set a timer? Can you set one on my phone? But I think they're going to take different times because mine are like wafers and yours are like cakes. So <laughs> they're going to take different amounts of time. No. So we're here in the fairy garden and we're going to answer a few more of your questions we whilst are. our cookies bake. Uh, we're joined by Winnie because you can just about see her butt. Um, and Blanche is just sitting over there smelling poo. <laughs> oh! Hi! Okay. What? <laughs> Next one. Um, what do you both do for work? I am a bus driver. Oh, yeah. I've done it for four and a half years. I did work on a rider school beforehand, but um, I just wasn't for the outside life, I don't think. So I needed a little bit of warmth. And um, yeah, but I like driving and it's super fun bus driving. So yeah. yeah. And I freelance with anything horsey, really. I teach but mostly kids now, um, which I enjoy a lot. And ride and transport so just anything i can make a bit of money with horses because we know that's not easy um how old were you both when you started riding <laughs> very young i first sat on oh, the I didn't. and then i think my sister got her first pony when she was 10 and i was seven so i properly started riding i think when i was seven it, my nan entered me into a donkey race um <laughs> at a village green and i fell off it it was bareback and i fell off it and, and then for my next birthday she bought me riding lessons oh. Yeah, because I was so bad on the donkey. Um, so that was when I was 11. So I've been doing oh, wow. it for 17 years, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's just your breast stank a bit, okay? <laughs> ones that someone said, wasn't there one that said, um, why are you so amazing? <laughs> um, what do you think was the hardest part of being on the All Stars? <clears throat> oh, definitely the el eliminations. This uh, I'm going to be controversial and, yeah. and say not that. I think the living situation was the hardest you loved rooming with kids no that's absolutely fine but shared showers um. with <coughs> non-gay boys that don't mind shaving their bits and leaving hair around was not cutting it for me i well. think it was the eliminations only because it just made everyone a bit more competitive and then it just became a bit fussy, see but... i didn't feel competitive about it but i felt like a little bit on edge all the time yeah because you're just yeah. you, you're there for you validation watch, yeah and, it, and it, is, it is hard, but I think they do try and do it in a way what makes it as easy as possible. So, okay, so this one is for you, and it's, uh, when did you come out? <laughs> I think that one's for you. Um, yeah, but I never really had to have like a big coming out ceremony type thing. Um, my eldest sister is actually a lesbian, so she's already done it and beat me to it. Oh. Yeah, so it wasn't, and, and to be fair, like I used to like Barbies and glitter and stuff. Um, and then it just made it easier because I just sort of said, oh, I'm seeing a boy this is him and brought him home you know I never had to really do but I was probably when I had that conversation with them about 19 so it's quite, oh, late. It was quite late yeah but I, I never had to have the conversation so they probably came out at 19 and let everyone know and was everyone very accepting of it yeah as I said like it was yeah. quite obvious that if my if I got a car for Christmas my sister my lesbian sister would want that and oh, if she got like makeup I'd be like come out this please <laughs> if you feel like you need to yeah. have a chat Tommy's the guy to talk to. Yeah. I will be there, like, I will more than happily talk to you about it, but he has more experience yeah. than I have. <laughs> I have so, yeah. My CV. Yeah. Always someone to talk to. Feliz Navidad. It's my favourite Christmas song. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Have you heard Andrea Bocelli sing it? Have you heard The Cheeky Girl's Cheeky Christmas? <laughs> anyway, the live, the live, the live session down. area at. Well, we don't really know what yeah. we're in for. Um, no. We're looking forward to it because it's the first time we're all going to be back yeah. in the same be room. Yeah, nice to be reunited with everyone. Nice to have people get to know us yeah. and how we say stuff if you like yeah be interesting to be on the stage do you not seeing what people have been doing after all stars because yeah. i know some people have been quite busy i'm very excited to see everyone yeah have a big reunion and maybe have a little second <laughs> for asking our questions Thanks for some great questions yeah it's good um, good to know, get to know us in conclusion we're a little bit annoying very giggly don't really know what's going on talk over each other all the <laughs> yeah, time not not really cut out for this but we're trying no. and so. oh yeah um 
that's the time for our biscuits. But I did want to just say one more thing really quickly, is that our vlogs are going to be very like casual as and when like we fancy doing it. And um, we'll let you know like long before they're going to come out and everything when we're planning to do them. But we've got another one coming up planned for London. London International. Um, and then we'll go from there. But we've got some fun ideas planned. Um, they're not going to be weekly. No, it's not feasible. The thing is, is that yeah, like with work and yeah. um, we don't actually live that close to each no. other. We're like nearly two hours away, so mm. it's, it's quite hard. But yeah. but we could also do if people are up for it, we could do little individual bits and then just put them into a joint yeah. vlog. Let's go and get these cookies out of the oven. Biscuits. So moment of truth. How long have they been in there? Oh my god. Oh. They look. Oh, they smell good, so but they good. Look massive. Yours is quite soft. Are they? They're supposed to be soft or hard. Do they harden up as you when you take them out and let them cool? Who knows? I'll tell you what will be done is that little nub in there. <laughs> take him out and we'll test him. Yeah. Try it. <laughs> it's it's disgusting. <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting. It's so dry and disgusting. But the horses will love it. Very sweet. It tastes nice though. Um, they're just like oh, really that is so claggy. sticky porridge. <laughs> oh. Thing. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> These are Tommy's. Your viewers, you would show it. And look at that Christmas tree. That is a good. That's one. my favourite one. Now show us your favourite one. This is a little snowman with a top hat on. That is lovely. Isn't he? Oh, how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> How's it taste? It's very hot at the moment, but mm -hmm. it tastes like porridge. Mmm. Mm. Oh, they're delicious, girls. Oh, they're delicious. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Get your paws <laughs> off my Christmas tree. Very good. I'm super chuffed with those. There's the biscuits, mm. and if you guys want to make these at home, we will drop the recipe in the description box below, and then we'd love you to have a go at home, and you can let us know on Instagram how you get on. Yeah, and send us pictures, tag us, all the lot, so we all can feel better about us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed, and I'll can't wait to see your biscuits. Find out what we get up to at London International in the next Sack Up and Talk. What do you think? Oh, you like it. Nod your head if you like it. Oh, God, she wants another one. Crikey. You want another one? Yes. Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> You're having another one. A Christmas tree for you. A Christmas tree for you. Oh. Ooh. What do you think? Is that good? Oh, Aria. Is that good?